Hey, Brett with Solarola. We have here a Honcho. One of the first uh, four-wheelers, especially one of the first four-wheel drive four-wheelers. And the reason I chose this uh, vehicle is it's pretty much, well it is, it's all chain drive. Nice big number 60 chains. And uh, this makes it really easy to add an electric motor to. So basically just a permanent magnet DC um, brush motor with a sprocket on it and, and you're cruising. So with just the single motor and the single shaft, because of the way that this thing is designed, I'm able to drive both tires. So the basis of this project is we're building basically a snowblower. Look over here, there's, a, there's an old Honda attachment. So that's gonna get its own motor. And uh, when we're done with that, it's gonna hang off the front of this four-wheeler and be a, a mobile snowblower. So I like the idea of having a snowblower because you need a pretty good sized vehicle to plow, you're pushing snow. Whereas a snowblower kind of chews it up and spits it out. And you can really direct where you want the snow to go and you can get away with a little smaller vehicle. So also of course this honcho will be super fun to cruise around silently through the woods and look at the deer and all the beautiful creatures and our land here in Wisconsin. So pretty excited about it. Check it out. As you can see, it's pretty much just a big battery on wheels. So it's a nine kilowatt uh, gem car battery made by Bromo. We can pull continuous 200 amps out of that battery, probably four to 500 amps in short bursts, which is what the ME1003 Mars motor right there will do. So at 40 volts, we're actually 48 volts, but we'll probably be when we're loading around 40, 45 volts. But you're looking at a solid, uh, probably 25 horse, which is incredible. And of course, with an electric motor, you have that torque all the time. We also have a, a 72 volt, 500 amp, all tracks controller on there. I just absolutely love these all tracks controllers. I've used them in everything. I have one right here in our golf cart that we've been beating on for years. My friend Scott Berman has been beating on for years. And the thing just keeps coming back for more. We can't kill it. I love the all tracks. And I was just thinking the other day how this little honcho here has a lot of Oregon heart and soul in it since the Bromo battery came from Oregon and also all tracks um, is a company in Grants Pass, I believe. So in front of that all tracks controller, you see a big contactor there. That's my reversing contactor. So what's really nice is I don't have to have a mechanical reverse. I have an electrical reverse. I can reverse the motor with a flick of a switch, which will be really nice when I'm using this vehicle for work. So instead of having to reach down or, or grab some kind of shift lever, it's just a real simple little switch that'll be on the handlebar that'll switch me into reverse. So I'll be able to, you know, back and forth with the plow and the snow blowers and the farm equipment, just real convenient. And that's how I'm building this thing, to have all my controls right up there on my fingertips so I can um, just really work the vehicle. So we'll have a thumb throttle, for the, uh, you know, the power. We'll have our reversing contactor on, off, on, um, single pole dual throw switch on top. We'll have a single brake. You can check out the brake there. It's a pretty nice situation. It's right on the jack shaft or the intermediate shaft between the motor and the rear drive shaft there, the rear axle shaft. And that's a disc brake with a real powerful, uh, um, it's like a power screw um, type of lever for the brake so that will slow it down and it then slows down every wheel since every wheel is connected to the motor so that's nice for even stopping this vehicle eventually you know the the plastic is over there it's actually fiberglass we'll go over the top of this and look really nice and then there's a front and rear rack with a winch and then on top we're going to put the Cherry, which is going to be the light leaf carbon fiber solar panel. So this is gonna get a solar panel on it and a nice little uh, plexiglass windshield. Cause when you're snow blowing sometimes, if it's windy, it can get in your face. So having a little bit of plexiglass in front of you, is just gonna be nicer for cruising. Also when it's really cold, that wind isn't gonna be in your face. So I'm really looking forward to it. We're gonna put a couple of the uh, Fergelli actuators in the rear of the bullet style so that we can tip up the uh, panel, just like our golf cart for our maximum charge. So this thing will be just sitting around, waiting to jump in and snow blow, plow snow, um, pull trailers, and have fun. It'll just always be ready to go. 
Also, it's something that Kira and I with Solarola have considered reproducing. What I love about this thing is it's simple. So you basically have, you know, just one inch shaft uh, drive shafts and just regular flange bearings and sprockets. I mean, you can get pretty much anywhere. So it's pretty simple. I think it's gonna end up being something, a right hand for us um, on the farm here, as far as moving snow, garden equipment, you know, hitching a trailer up to. And of course, we like to have fun, mix a little bit of pleasure with our business. And uh, like I said, it'll be really fun to cruise around the land.